The Norwegian Buhund is a hardy, medium-sized Nordic Spitz breed that hails from Scandinavia. Spitz breeds, also called Northern breeds, are a type of dog indigenous to mostly cold and snowy regions. Like most Spitz breeds, Norwegian Buhunds have thick double coats and a wolf-like appearance. These dogs have long been partners to people not only traveling with the Vikings, but also serving as multi-purpose farm dogs in their homeland of Norway. They have excelled as hunters and herders, and their friendly, easy-going natures have made them popular family dogs. Now without further ado, let's dive right into our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Norwegian Buhund. But before we start our list, we'd like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the original Norwegian Buhund owners on this video. The video would seriously not have been possible without them. So don't forget to check out these incredible dogs from the Instagram profiles that have been linked in the description below. And now, let's begin the list. Number 1. Their History Dogs that closely resemble the modern-day Norwegian Buhund were found during the Kokstad excavation in Norway. This is the location of a massive Viking grave from about 900 AD. During this excavation, six skeletons of various sized dogs were found and determined to be spits in type and closely related to the Norwegian Buhund. The Vikings used to have their most cherished possessions buried alongside them, and the fact that these dogs were found in the graves it shows how the Vikings truly treasured them. The Norwegian Buhund would travel with the Vikings on their sea voyages and across rugged terrains. However, the modern Buhund is more refined and less capable of traversing rough terrains. These dogs came mainly from the western coastlands of Norway and were not traveling companions of the Vikings, but rather farm guard dogs and herders. This is not an overly popular breed, and it was not until the 1920s that the first Norwegian Buhund appeared in conformation shows. An official breed club, Norsk Buhund Club, was created in 1939 in Norway. The first Norwegian Buhunds to be imported into the United States was in the 1980s. In 1996, the United Kennel Club officially recognized the Norwegian Buhund and classified them as a northern breed. The American Kennel Club also officially recognized the breed in 2009 and classified them as a herding breed. Number 2. The Meaning Behind Their Name As with many breeds, the Norwegian Buhund's name can give us some clues to their history. The name Buhund comes from the Norwegian word bu, which translates as homestead or hut, or similar simple outdoor dwelling where shepherds lived and tended to their sheep, while the Norwegian word hund simply means dog in English. It's thought that the modern form of Buhund developed in the Rogaland region of southwestern Norway, where they were used to guard farms and herd livestock against sheep and reindeer. They would accompany their owners and livestock to summer grazing grounds, where they would stay in mountain huts until winter drove them back in. Also, the Buhund is a part of the Spitz type, a category of dog that is known for its pointed ears and snout. The word Spitz is of German origin and translates simply as pointed in English. This makes a lot of sense if you consider many pointed physical characteristics of the breed. Number 3. Their Appearance The Norwegian Buhund is considered to be a typical northern breed of medium size. These dogs reach an average height of 17 to 18 and a half inches and a weight of 31 to 40 pounds. Females are slightly smaller, averaging 16 to 17 and a half inches tall and weighing 26 to 35 pounds. Buhuns are well-muscled dogs with typical spitz tail that curls over their back. Their head is wedge-shaped and their triangular ears stand direct on top of their head. They have oval-shaped eyes that are very dark brown. However, light-colored eyes are not considered desirable in the breed. Their nose is also black, but a self-colored or brown nose is not acceptable in the show ring and as you would expect of an active breed, their limbs are strong and lean. As for their coats, Buhuns have a double coat to keep them warm in Norwegian winter. The outer coat is coarser but still smooth, while the undercoat is soft and wooly. The main color of the coat can be wheaten, red, black, or wolf sable. Number 4. Their Temperament and Personality Typical of Nordic breeds, the Buhund is confident, energetic, and affectionate. These dogs enjoy being with their family, but they are independent enough to stay on their own during the day as long as they have toys for entertainment and a yard or other place to play. They also get along well with children and other dogs, but some supervision is still recommended as they are prone to jumping up and can be a bit boisterous. When it comes to living with cats though, Spitz-type dogs like the Buhund can be a little hit or miss. If they are raised with cats, they usually do fine but you do need to proceed with a little caution. Small pets should generally be kept away from these dogs, as they retain their hunting instincts even today. All in all, kind, consistent training is essential for this smart dog, as is family involvement. This is not a breed to be left alone all day. Your Buhund will love to be at the center of your family, demanding and offering a great deal of companionship. Number 5. They can handle all sorts of jobs Norwegian Buhunds have a trait that's rare among other Spitz breeds, that is a desire to please. And if you add in their intelligence and independence, you get highly capable dogs. These canines can handle jobs ranging from hearing dogs to police dogs to a competitor in agility and obedience trials. Their alert nature and tendency to bark also make them good watchdogs, although they are probably too friendly to pose any real threat. Number 6. They require a lot of exercise The Norwegian Buhund is a sturdy dog with a strength, stamina, and energy to work all day long. It's not surprising that the breed requires lots of exercise to keep them content and well-mannered in the home. 
Long walks, jogging, hiking, and games of fetch are good exercise options for Norwegian Buhuns. You can also take their exercise up a notch with competitive dog sports like agility, herding, and tracking. Without both exercise and mental stimulation, these dogs might just find their own ways to have a good time. And you might not always like their idea of fun. Number 7. The Training Needs In keeping with their working past, the Blue Hound retains a herding instinct. This may manifest in chasing livestock, children, or cars. They're also quite vocal dogs and communicate with a variety of sounds. As guard dogs, they can be prone to excessive barking, especially if left unaccompanied outside. This is why Norwegian Bullhunds benefit from early and frequent training. An important part of their early training is socialization. A well-socialized Bullhund will be better equipped to overcome their natural caution around strangers and in new situations. Now let's focus on their trainability. Norwegian Bullhunds may be easier to train than any other Spitz-type dogs, but they still have an independent nature. And because they have stubborn streaks, it can be hard to maintain their attention. Make sure you skip repetitive training sessions and focus on fun, fast-paced, and interactive activities. You also gotta use positive reinforcement and reward-based training instead of harsh commands. This is a food-motivated breed, so have treats on hand to keep these dogs engaged during training sessions. Their use as police service and guide dogs shows that under good direction, they're definitely capable of learning. So just show them that you mean what you say through absolute consistency. Number 8. Their grooming requirements. Norwegian Buhun shed their coat twice a year. Outside of shedding, a weekly brush is enough to keep their coat in good condition. Once they start shedding, they'll need daily brushing sessions to keep everything under control. You may also need to vacuum your house a lot during this time. Aside from their coat, you gotta trim their nails when needed and check their ears every couple of weeks. Dental care is also an important aspect of caring your dog. Brushing teeth between two and three times a week is recommended to avoid the buildup of plaque. Buhuns don't have any special bathing requirements, but you should avoid bathing them more frequently than once a month. Number 9. Their Health Like other less common dog breeds, Norwegian Buhuns are generally healthy thanks to their careful breeding practices. They have an excellent lifespan of 12 to 15 years. However, like most purebred dogs, they certainly have hereditary health conditions in their background, including cataracts, cancer, a blood clotting issue called von Willebrand's disease, and hip dysplasia, in which the hip joint slips loose from time to time, causing pain and lameness. Reputable breeders test their adult Norwegian Buhuns for these issues before breeding them to avoid passing on these problems. When buying a dog from a breeder, make sure you ask to see paperwork that shows the results of these tests. You should also schedule regular visits to the vet to check for common health issues. Number 10. How to find one of these dogs Norwegian Buhuns are rare in the United States. Because of this, you need to be prepared to pay as much as 2 to 2.5 grand for a puppy. In addition to the cost of the dog, you'll potentially need to pay additional fees to have your new pet shipped to you. There are a few Norwegian Buhun rescue groups, and there's always a chance that you could find one at your local shelter. Some breeders will take back dogs previously sold if they don't work out in their first homes and find new owners for them. The cost of adopting a Norwegian Buhund will vary, but is likely to be far less than the cost to purchase a new one. Alright folks, that brings us to the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Norwegian Buhund. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you already have one of these lovable canines as part of your family, let us know about the unique traits in the comments below. Please leave a thumbs up and share the video if you liked it. For more interesting facts on different dog breeds, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one.